morning everyone, happy Monday. I hope you are all feeling positive at the beginning of a new week. How is everyone? Honestly, I'm like genuinely asking, how are you? How is life going for you at the moment? Do you want to talk about anything? <laughs> Leave me a comment below or send me a message. I'm genuinely asking because I think sometimes we all just need somebody to genuinely ask us like, how are you? And actually care about the answer and I genuinely do. So <laughs> yeah. I'm currently sealing up with sellotape some invites for our big wedding celebration next year. So we're still gonna have our big day next April and I'd been holding off sending out any invites because I didn't wanna send loads out and then have to tell people that they couldn't come if there were still like restrictions on numbers next year. I really hope there won't be because we will have been like a year into the pandemic by then. I'm really hoping that we'll have relative normality by spring next year, but. <laughs> fingers crossed. Uh, but anyway, I've been holding off sending out invites and then we had a couple of people message us saying that already they couldn't do our new date because they had something else booked. Anyway, I've already had people say that they can't come and some of those people are like integral members of my family. So I figured I need to get these invites out quickly. So I've got one pile of invites that I'm gonna go and drop off because these are all people that live locally. And then I've got another pile that need to be posted and some of them I've already given out by hand. I also want to um, edit last week's weekly vlog and put that up. It's a pretty rubbish vlog, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. <laughs> but um, I think it's just gonna take me a little time to get back into the swing of vlogging because I haven't really done it in a while um, and I'm sure it'll be fine. But yeah, so I'm gonna tape up these. Right, all of my um, invites are addressed and sealed. Uh, my medication arrived, my new medication was delivered. I um, am back to injecting myself at home now, it's just with a different medication. So I've got my first one of those on the 4th of September. So my first syringe arrived um, today and I'm really not looking forward to that. A nurse is gonna come and do it for me and teach me how to do it properly on the 4th. Um, anyway, that arrived. I've edited my weekly vlog, that has now uploaded 44%. Um, so I'm going to go and get these stamps, get those in the post, and then drive round delivering the rest of the ones that can be hand delivered. So I'm feeling pretty tired even thinking about it and it's already quarter to one. So I don't know where the morning's gone, but yeah, I've got a lot to do. Good morning everyone, it is now Tuesday. <laughs> Rubbish Chloe strikes again. I didn't film the rest of yesterday but it was for good reason. Um, I went out and I was posting all of those invites and then I hand delivered some and obviously I don't really want to shove a camera in my family's face. Um, but I went to my nan and granddad's house, my mum's parents and um, actually was able to sit and have a chat with them for the first time since January. Um, they did come to my wedding, but we were still, apart from having a couple of photos taken together, we were still very much social distancing, especially with grandparents. I'm still being extra careful, obviously, because they are so precious to me. And um, with my own health as well, we were still sort of social distancing. Uh, but yesterday I actually managed to have a proper chat with them. We still didn't have a hug or anything, but it was so nice to be able to sit for like an hour and a half and just chat to them about everything. So um, yeah, and then when I got home, Will had finished work and we were sorting out dinner and it just, there wasn't anything interesting to film. Um, but today I'm gonna do some crafting. So I'm definitely gonna bring you along with me for that. I am planning on just having a lazy crafting day today, hence the crazy pineapple hair and spirit jersey combo. Um, I just really feel like catching up with some of these scrapbooks. I was just in my craft room prioritizing. So maybe I'll show you some of that as well.
Okay, so I think it's been about an hour and a half, maybe a little bit longer, and I have finished the trip to Iceland and I have finished the trip to Mallorca. So I'll show you what I've done. Um, I showed the previous pages for the Iceland trip in my last weekly vlog, so I'll leave the link to that in the description below if you haven't seen last week's vlog yet. Um, but this is where I got up to, this uh, 6x12 insert here. So I literally just popped a little sticker there and some enamel dots on the other side. At this point I'm thinking like done is better than perfect, do you know what I mean? So it's very, very basic. I've just put a few little like tiny word stickers, a few bits of chipboard um, here and there. And there we go, that is Iceland finished. And then I go on to Mallorca. So I've got this piece of acetate separating the two holidays. And I've got this photo here, I'm not sure what size it is, it must be 12 by 8. Um, landscape photo and I popped a tab there just so that it's obvious that you turn it from there. And then I've got that photo on the back and I had to back it on some cardstock because it wasn't a 12 by 8. I'm not sure what size that one originally was. Um, this page was already done and I still had a lot of this travel collection from Simple Stories so I decided to um, try and scrapbook the rest of this holiday with the same collection and again this was already done. I had actually completed most of this trip already. That was already done as was all of this. Again lots of maps, you'll have seen in last week's vlog that I always put maps into my travel albums. That was already done, so was this, although I added this little embellishment cluster here because this was originally a receipt and it has completely deteriorated. I've used receipts before and they've been fine, something about that one just didn't work, so I just popped this embellishment cluster over the top. This layout was already done and so was this one and then this is where I scrapbooked from. So I did actually end up taking a couple of photos out and a couple of inserts out because um, they required me to make layouts and you guys know you'll have heard me say this a million times every time I get this album out I hate making layouts um, this was the last one I did for my trip to Mallorca and I think I did it in a video maybe for Patreon it took me so long I just I don't know how to make layouts anymore I see so many beautiful um, layouts on Instagram and Pinterest and things and even when I try to recreate them I just can't do it like big layout scrapbooking like that is just not for me anymore so um yeah I backed these two photos together from the aquarium with us with this parrot that was the official photo from the aquarium and I put two postcards on the back of it um I always buy so many postcards when we go away and then never use them so I'm trying to make sure they make it into all my scrapbooks um, and then this was the last page that I did. So I actually still had um, some memorabilia from this Tex-Mex grill that we went to. So I popped that in as if it's a tab, but it's not. Um, just some embellishments and journaling. These are going to be stapled in place eventually. Stapled in the middle of the pocket nice and straight. But I've run out of staples, so I can't do it. Um, and then again, same on this page. Still using that same collection. And then some alphas for my stash and that's it iceland and mallorca are officially finished at last four years after we went on these trips so i'm pleased with that and now i'm gonna go and make some lunch okay so i had some lunch and then we had a delivery so this is not um sponsored again and also this is not our address that is the address of this shop um, Will asked me what I wanted for my birthday and I really didn't know um, and I said I needed some scrapbook albums so he offered to buy me some scrapbook albums. It's very very difficult to find 12 by 12 albums now in the UK so this lady um, shared her shop in one of the scrapbook groups and um, we ordered from her so I got the leather three ring binders in buttercup coral and gold and I can't wait to see them. There they are looking very pretty and apart from the gold one having one slightly biffed corner <laughs> they really are in like perfect condition which like I said is really rare with these albums because they do get knocked around so much um, like in the warehouses and in transit and stuff I don't think I've ever had some arrive in such perfect condition so yeah Will ordered those from the Mad Scrapper 
Um, if I remember, I will pop a link in the description. But like I said, this is not an ad or anything. <laughs> will literally bought me these with his own money for my birthday. I just thought I would recommend the shop because I know lots of us are struggling to get 12 by 12 albums now. But yeah, how are you documenting? Where do you buy your supplies? Let me know. happy Thursday um, I've just had a really nice bath and like washed my hair and done all my skincare and everything so sorry if I look a bit shiny or whatever um, but I didn't really film anything face to face yesterday I took a bit of a self-care day and I kind of hate that phrase but essentially that's what it was um, when I woke up it was pouring down with rain and I kid you not it just carried on raining all day and I don't know if it was that that affected my mood or if it was a hormone thing because it really did come on so suddenly and it, I just couldn't shake it all day but I was in such a sad mood and it felt even worse because obviously I've been so happy the last couple of weeks like properly on this like wedding high and yesterday was just horrendous so I decided that I wasn't going to film face to face because I had no reason to be upset or down or anything um, and I didn't want to bring like a downer to the vlog so I just felt how I was feeling and then I let it go I ate some junk food I walked to the shop and bought us both a pizza for lunch so we had pizza together um, and then we did the food shop in the evening and I've woken up this morning feeling a lot better so um, that's a positive at least I also ticked off some like admin stuff yesterday and I also set up my new bullet journal which is this beautiful like autumnal foresty themed um, notebook from Archer and Olive. It's my first notebook from them. They are very expensive <laughs> for a notebook, but I bought it for myself when I was poorly. It was like a get well gift to myself. So yeah, I set this up yesterday and I will show you what I did. I also got all of our washing done and everything. So I did still manage to have a productive day despite feeling rubbish, but I'm hoping to have a more positive day today. I do feel brighter and much better. I really just don't know what happened yesterday. I've got the doors open for the dogs and as usual, there's a massive fly flying around in here. So I am sorry if you can hear that, but this is the notebook. It's got this cute little bookmark. It's actually got two bookmarks, but only one of them has got this nice little weight on it. That's their logo, as you can see. So my first pages are a future log and I will just flip over them. Then I've got a books page so I can put all the books that I've read so far in 2020 on here and I can carry on filling it in as the year progresses. And then I've got a TBR page so I'm going to look through my bookshelf and I'm going to write a list of books that I really want to read um, by the end of the year. I've got my savings log which I've carried over from my previous um, bullet journal. I started 
tracking my savings on the 18th of December. So um, I'm tracking those there. And then I've set up a wish list page here. So if there's anything I really want, I can write it down and ask for it for like birthdays and Christmas and stuff. Stop me spending my money on it. <laughs> YouTube ideas and Instagram ideas. This is mainly for like um, my Disney Instagram and stuff. My personal account, I just post whatever I want. Um, but yeah, so this is more for like my Disney account. Um, I They've got that new feature called Reels and I don't really get it. It's kind of like TikTok, I guess. Um, but apparently the algorithm will start pushing you to the bottom again if you don't use Reels. So for my Disney account and for like Winnie's account, I'd like to come up with some ideas for reels I could do. And then obviously YouTube ideas are just video ideas that people suggest or that I might want to do. And I obviously I haven't filled in any of these pages yet, so I will do soon. 2020 projects and then an empty page here to write notes about them. Um, I actually have a like a running list of projects that I want to do, uh, things around the house, um, like craft projects I want to finish, uh, rooms that need to be repainted, um, loads of random things. And during the beginning of lockdown, I actually ticked off like half of my list, <laughs> um, but I still have things that need to be completed and obviously things will pop up between now and the end of the year. So they will all go here. Then I have a page, a double page spread for wedding to do's because I still have a very long list of things that need to be done for our date in April. Obviously our big day didn't go ahead um, in August and we were in lockdown for like five months leading up to the August date so I couldn't get anything done. So I've been left with a big long list of outstand outstanding tasks. And then we go into September because I can fit the whole of August into here apart from my birthday. So my birthday will be in here because it's on a Monday this year. Um, but I don't use loads of collections like some people, lots of people track lots of things um, or have lots of collections in their bullet journals and I don't. Those are the only things that I'm really interested in having at the moment but if there is anything else I will add it in at the back. Um, but yeah, so we go into September. This is going to be my editorial calendar so you use that term really for um, like blogging but I'm just going to put like any YouTube videos and any specific Instagram posts that I want on this. And this is the um, calendar paper from the Lollipop Box Club kit. And then a brain dump page. So just writing down notes and to-dos and stuff that are clogging up my brain during September. And then I've done a separate calendar page. Nothing special. I didn't really like how it turned out to be honest, but it's fine. Um, so that I can make notes of about like what I'm doing on what days. I've got back to work, my injection appointment, my sister's birthday, and that's it so far. Um, and then obviously I will have the first week of September in here with maybe a habit tracker or something, but I haven't done that yet. But yeah, that is my new bullet journal. Like I said, it's from Archer and Olive. Um, I actually kind of want to be finished with this journal by January. Um, I've realised that I can fit a whole year into my notebooks most of the time. So my first bullet journal, I started it in August and it ran until the following August. And then this one started in September and ran until the following September. Um, so I've realised I can fit a whole year in them. These notebooks have much, much thicker pages. I think I think there's like 240 pages in a Leuchtturm and there's 180 pages or maybe even 160 pages in this, I can't remember. So there's considerably less pages in it. Um, but I've kind of realized that it would be more beneficial for me to have a whole year from January to December in a notebook rather than August to August or September to September even though I work in a school so it is it's nice to start each like academic year with a new notebook I just feel like it would be much more beneficial to have January to December because like I say my savings log I've had to move into this new one um my book log like noting down what books I've read has to be moved into this one and 
it would just be much easier to just have January to December, I think. So I'm gonna try my best to fill this up as much as possible, to write in it every day, to use it as a written journal as well as my bullet journal, literally just fill it up. And I know that might seem crazy because it's the most expensive notebook I've ever had, so it would make more sense to try and use it and enjoy it for the whole year. But I think the pattern on it is very like, autumn winter um, it was a limited edition one which is part of the reason that I went for it um, and I thought the pattern was so beautiful it reminded me of like Animal Crossing as well um, but yeah I just I kind of want to have my next journal be from January to December so I'm going to try my best to fill this one over the next four months guys it's much much later now I um, have filmed a Q&A video and got that edited and uploaded so that will be up tomorrow when you're watching this um, and I filmed a little reel for my Disney Instagram of my mini ear collection um, did a few more life admin bits <laughs> and ate a lot of junk food so now I'm having um, a very vegetable filled dinner it's still not very healthy because I'm gonna put sour cream all over it. I am cooking fajitas. I might have shown this last week, I can't remember. Um, normally you would do like onions, peppers and stuff. This has got lots of pepper in, but basically I've put a vegetable stir fry pack in here as well, um, just to get loads and loads of veg in and just to bulk it out a bit. Um, and I've also got these corn pieces in here as well. They are not cooked currently, so they don't look particularly appetizing, but I find that they are really convincing as a chicken alternative. So I pop them in there as my like protein um, and I'm watching Disney vlogs. Good afternoon, everyone. It is coming up to one o'clock and this morning I have been doing more life admin stuff that's basically what i've been doing all this week and i still have quite a bit to do um i was basically just activating my new bank cards calling my hospital trying to get an appointment booked in turns out the secretary is off today of course i would call her on her one day off it yeah i have just put a little bit of makeup on to try and make myself feel a bit more alive i've got a cup of tea i just had some lunch and i don't really know what to do with myself today because um, the dog's food is arriving today and it's coming by DPD so they've sent me like a one hour time slot and it's coming between 1.50 and 2.50 in the afternoon and obviously I'm super grateful that it's arriving and that um, they've done like next day delivery or it's, with, it's been within 48 hours anyway, I've lost track of time. Um, so I'm really grateful that it's arriving because we are on our last thing of dog food. Um, however, <laughs> isn't it the most annoying thing when you're waiting for a parcel and it's coming in the middle of the day? Um, I always, and it's so silly because I still have like the same amount of time in the day, but I always feel like I can't like go out in the morning and then it's too late in the afternoon, like when something's coming in the middle of the day. Um, especially if this parcel doesn't arrive until like 2.50, that's nearly three o'clock. And I'm like, what can I do after three o'clock? It's so ridiculous because obviously I could still just go out as normal. Will is actually back in the office. I can't remember if I said yesterday, but he had his first day back in the office yesterday and he's there today as well. He's only doing a couple of days in the office a week. He'll still be working from home until September. But I really miss him when he's not here and I think that's part of the reason that I'm like so desperate to get out because after five and a half months of being home together every day, the house feels so weird now when he's not here. But yeah, I really miss him and I just wanna go out. I really miss normal life. I really miss having like a holiday booked and things to look forward to. Um, it, it's just so weird not being able to plan for the future right now. Anyway. I'll stop whinging, I'm gonna drink my tea and I'll update you on what I decide to do. Okay, it's now five to three. The dog food finally arrived, so I put that away and I debated going over to my mum's, but um, I just feel really tired because I've been a bit lazy today and just sat around doing not a lot. Um, 
I've ended up being really tired and feeling like I need a nap. So instead of going out or instead of taking a nap, which I really don't want to get into the habit of doing, um, I've come into my craft room and I'm going to work on my travel album again. I've been showing you this album for the last couple of weeks and I'm getting so close to being done with it now. I've got eight Project Lifestyle pages to complete in this album. Um, I've just got to do the last page here of my trip to Planicon Europe in 2017. I've got my trip to Gothenburg in Sweden that I went on with some of my best friends in 2018. And then my trip to Helsinki that I booked as a surprise for my now husband's 30th birthday, also in 2018. And once I complete this album, I will have completed all of my outstanding or unfinished projects apart from my childhood album. Um, and I don't, I have my 2020 Project Life album and I have my 2020 Creative Journal. I don't count those as like outstanding projects because it's still 2020, they're still like in progress. But the rest of them, I, you know, I had a lot of unfinished albums. So there was my 2019 December Daily, which I've completed. I am going to be doing a flip through of that, um, but I'm going to save it until sort of November time or maybe even October when people are starting to think about Christmas. I'll do a flip through then. Um, I finished my house renovation album, which was five years in the making. I finally finished that. I finished uh, 2019's Project Life. There's a flip through of that if you want to watch it um, on my channel. I finished my 2019 creative journal. I finished my Animal Crossing creative journal. Um, I'm pretty sure there was another one as well but I really want to finish this because like I say that means the only like outstanding or unfinished project that I will have then is my childhood album so yeah I feel motivated to sit and get a few pages done in this today Good morning, it's me again with no makeup again and my Mrs Prendergast sweatshirt again. Wow, I'm getting quite predictable, aren't I? I've got quite an extensive skincare routine at the moment and I do feel like it has really helped my skin. So I'm feeling a bit more comfortable being makeup free on camera, even when I am a bit spotty. Um, first of all, I know that yesterday's footage ended quite abruptly. Basically, I just got really into the scrapbooking and then I went and made dinner and then Will came home and I just kind of got like distracted but I finished my scrapbook, all except one 12 by 12 page, which it needs to be a layout and I just hate layouts, but maybe I'll try and do that today so that I can officially call that scrapbook done. Um, I'll give you a quick look at the album. I did also post a little reel onto my Instagram. I'm getting quite into reels. I'm not very good at them, but I'm enjoying them. Um, but yeah, so I'll give you a little sneak peek of that, but my plan is for uh, the second video this week, so the week that you're watching this, my plan is for the second video this week to be a proper flip through of that travel album, so you won't have to wait too long to see it all if that's what you're interested in. Um, also yesterday I got this in the post, it's the 2020 Emma Bridgewater Collector's Jug. I already have quite a few of these one and a half pint jugs and I just never really saw the point in buying one every year with the number on it, with the date on it. Um, a lot of people do, that's absolutely fine, but I just didn't really have the space for them. So I've never bought one before. And then this one came out in 2020, it's this beautiful pink roses pattern. And I really wanted it because obviously we were getting married this year and I wanted it to commemorate that. Um, my original plan had been to get a three pint mug with the details of our wedding personalized onto it. And unfortunately they don't sell those anymore. 
Um, so I thought this would be the next best thing. And then our, I never bought it, I put it off and put it off. Then the wedding was postponed and then the jug went out of stock. Now obviously we did end up getting married in 2020 anyway and I posted about it in the Emma Bridgewater group the other day and somebody messaged me offering to sell me hers because she didn't need it. So I bought it, it arrived, it's lovely. So I just thought I would show you that. Um, it's cute and also this morning I know there are some of you that are still super into Animal Crossing so um, I went villager hunting on Animal Crossing this morning um, I almost forgot <laughs> I, I went on there a couple of days ago and one of my villagers was moving so when they ask to move out the day after that they're like packing up their house and then the day after that they're lot where their house was is empty and that's when you can go and pick a new villager from one of the mystery islands so I did that this morning and I filmed the process so I'll put that footage in for those of you who like to see that sort of thing anyway Will's gone to football so I don't really know what to do with myself this morning because it's really weird being in the house on my own now every time he goes out so I can't wait until I've got some sort of routine back for myself um yeah that's nearly five minutes of me rambling about nothing again. Here's the Animal Crossing footage. Okay, I'm sorry the light is glaring in here. This isn't a great time of day to be in my office. Um, or my craft room, don't know why I called it my office. Um, but this is my album. You've already seen a lot of this. So that whole section is Iceland. Then I did the rest of my Mallorca scrapbooking the other day. Um, we had one day, uh, one page, sorry, for a little trip to Ireland. Planicon Europe and then this is what I was doing most of yesterday so I'm literally just going to flip through it really quickly because like I said I want to do a proper flip on my on my channel this week and I don't want um you guys to skip watching that because you've already seen it so I'm literally just gonna flip it so then this is Helsinki which is literally just a few pages because we weren't there for very long so yeah that is the album and I just need to do that layout or print a photo for the page um, in the Iceland section so yeah it's this bit here I don't know whether to just get over myself and do a layout and stop moaning about it or whether to just print the photos because I really do hate doing layouts um, I've got this one that I did ages ago um, and I just can't be bothered to do another one. I just hate them. I feel like I can't do layouts. I just, I'm not any good at it. So I might just take these two six by four photos and put them into like a square template um, and print them both like that to fill that page the next time I'm ordering photos. But yeah, it feels so good to have another album like pretty much complete. And now the only like outstanding project I have is my childhood album. So that's really exciting. And it means I can start on my Disney one now. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Random angle because I'm in my mum's car right now trying to not make it obvious that I'm filming at the petrol station. But we are off to the Emma Bridgewater factory today for afternoon tea. I booked it as a little surprise for my mum, a little treat for her because she's actually got to have surgery at the beginning of September, which I haven't really spoken about, but she's got to have major surgery at the beginning of September, which we're all very nervous about. And we haven't been able to do much this summer, obviously, because of COVID. So um, I thought that I would book us this little treat, kind of like an early birthday treat for myself, but also for her. Um, and yeah, we are 
off on the three hour journey to the Emma Bridgewater factory, um, hence getting petrol. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. everyone it's actually now Monday morning and I have pretty much only just got out of bed and I'm in my pajamas still um, but I didn't finish the vlog yesterday mum and I had a really nice time at the Emma Bridgewater factory I didn't really film anything but we had a lovely afternoon tea and of course I did a little bit of shopping so I wanted to show you that before I edit this vlog and upload it this evening um, now Winnie's coming to say hi they had um, what was left over of their like Christmas stock um, on sale. So I bought this bowl that says Christmas pudding on it. And then on the inside it says a nice fat pudding. <laughs> um, so this is their, I think it's called like Christmas toast um, pattern and I love these big pudding bowls. Um, Christmas stuff is something that I don't have enough of, so at the moment I don't have enough to like host a Christmas dinner or anything like that, so every year I say to myself, I'm gonna get some Christmas stuff in the sale, and then I never do, because the Christmas sale is obviously after Christmas, and I hate spending money on it and then putting it away for a whole year, so I end up not buying it. Um, but when we were in the factory, because it's before Christmas, I decided to pick up this bowl, and basically we nearly always have at least one, like, um, buffet dinner at Christmas so last year we had all of our family over like our parents and some of our siblings and stuff for like a buffet um, I had my friends round for a buffet um, so I need bowls basically because bowls is something I definitely don't have so because they were on such a good sale um, I also picked up this one which is in the winterberry pattern and then it's got the winterberries on the inside as well so these are going to be perfect for like bread rolls or crisps and things like that when we have lots of people round um, and we're hoping to do our kitchen extension next year maybe so if we do that we'll have a much bigger kitchen dining area so we can have more gatherings so by next Christmas we might be needing more stuff for hosting um both of these were meant to be this was meant to be 50 pounds and i got it for 20 19 um yeah 19.95 and this one was supposed to be 50 again and i got it for 18.95 so wow bargain and then i literally only got two other things so so this is a second, which is why it's got that um, line across it. But basically it's just showing that there's a tiny little fault in it. There's like a little pinprick. But what you do with Emma Bridgewater, when it's got those lines on it, they're just pencils. So basically you just rub them off and it's as good as new. So this is a Dolly's tea set saucer. So it's meant to be in like a little mini tea set. Um, but I thought that it would be really good as a spoon rest and I don't have a spoon rest in my kitchen and at the moment our dishwasher's broken and we still haven't had our other one plumbed in so I'm washing up like lots of teaspoons a day <laughs> from when I make tea. Um, so I thought this would be really good as a spoon rest and it was 3 95 and then this last thing, I'm pretty sure I actually mentioned it to you the other day. Um, I got the 2020 collector's jug. I bought it from somebody in one of the Emma Bridgewater groups to commemorate the wedding because obviously we got married this year. And I'm pretty sure I said that I wasn't going to buy loads of the other year jugs, but it might have been nice to get one for our engagement year because we got engaged last year. Well, in the factory there was one lonely 2019 jug and I asked the girl in there like how long it had been there and she said it had been there for like nearly a year just this one um it was in great condition I can't see anything wrong with it um but because it was on its own and it had been there for such a long time it was our engagement year and it was 20 pounds I decided to get it so all in all I spent about 64 pounds um and my budget was a I I budgeted like 50 so I went over by about 14 pounds but considering both of these bowls on their own should have been 50 pounds each and I got them for 40 for both of them I think that is a serious bargain and I can't wait for Christmas now because I have actual like big serving bowls for stuff 
and I'm gonna display this next to my 2020 jug and I've got my little spoon rest, so I'm well happy. But yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this vlog. There's been lots of scrapbooking um, and crafty things, which I know you guys like. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know. As always, I try and respond to all of my comments and I will see you next week. Bye guys.